Hello, Tom Fresno here from the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history with a recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. And the recipe we're going to be focusing on today is for ice cream. During World War II, the United States military actually felt that ice cream was actually very important to the American service members. It was something that could remind them of home, and it had become inseparable from the American way of life. Therefore, it was influencing the military food menus at that time. And while other countries during World War II were actually rationing a lot of their sugars and sweets, the Americans were kind of ramping up the effort to make sure that American service members in the field would be able to access ice cream. Now, the Navy actually had it pretty easy. Uh, aboard the larger vessels, like battleships and aircraft carriers, they actually had ice cream making machines that could churn out a large amount of ice cream. And when USS Lexington was lost in 1942, as she was being abandoned and started to sink, uh, sailors, before they went over the sides, actually raided the ice cream freezers and ate all of the ice cream before going over into the, into the water. And in 1945, the Navy actually spent about a million dollars converting a concrete barge into an ice cream making factory. That is how important ice cream was to the Navy and to American service members. Now the recipe we're going to be focusing on today, you do not need an ice cream machine for. And it, it actually utilizes uh, powdered milk and powdered eggs. In reality, this is kind of a frozen custard. And the original yield for this was five gallons. We've actually scaled that recipe way down. Uh, and uh, we're going to go through the ingredients here, tell you what they originally were, and then what the scaled down version is, so you can try this at home. So the uh, first item on the list is cornstarch. Originally, one pint. We'll be using one fourth of a cup. Uh, next up is sugar. Originally, two and a half quarts. We'll be using a half a cup and one tablespoon. Next is salt. Originally, three tablespoons. We'll be using one teaspoon. Next is the powdered eggs. Originally, three-fourths three -fourth quarts. We'll be using four and three-fourths tablespoons. Next is milk powdered. Originally, three and a half quarts. We'll be using one and a half cups. Next is water cool. Uh, originally three and one-fourth gallons, we'll be using five and one-fourth cups. And then finally, vanilla, originally one-fourth cup, we'll be using one and one-fourth teaspoon. Now here's the makeup. Mix together cornstarch, sugar, and salt. Combine powdered eggs and milk. Reconstitute with water the same as for powdered milk or eggs on uh, page uh, 20 and 21 of the cookbook here. Stir into cornstarch mixture. Cook over boiling water or in a steam jacketed kettle for 20 minutes, stirring occasionally. So if you have a double boiler, you can definitely do this at home. Then cool it completely, add vanilla, and then freeze it. So we're going to get into this recipe and uh, see how it tastes. Well, we've taken our ice cream off of the double boiler, and as you can see here, it's basically formed into a custard. So we're going to let this cool down, and as the, the instructions say, let it cool completely, and then add your vanilla to it, stir it up, and then we're going to put it in this container here and uh, throw it in the freezer. But uh, for time's sake, I did make a batch of this uh, earlier, and uh, I, instead of vanilla, I actually made it a uh, coffee custard. So uh, here's a little bit of it right here, and I can definitely suggest that when uh, you go to serve it, let it thaw just a little bit because it will be pretty solid. So here you go. Here's the, uh, the taste. It tastes pretty good. It's definitely not like the regular ice cream that you pick up in the store. It, it, it's definitely like a custard kind of texture to it. But it's good. And in a pinch, when you don't have an ice cream maker and you do have a double boiler, 
this is a good way to do it. And my double boiler was actually one larger pot with a smaller pot on the inside. So you can do this at home. And it's another fantastic recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. If you would like more information, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next cooking video.